Hello! In this video, I'm going to go over pulling focus. Now, this video is going to be for people who are coming mostly from the digital realm and starting to encounter some of the analog tools and techniques that come from the, the world of cinematography. So let's jump in and get started. Let's see what we've got here. I've got three cameras set up and I've got a really shallow focus set up right now. And then when I hit play, I'm pulling focus to this foreground object. Now these objects are from Quixel Megascans. You can uh, hit Alt F2 and you can see they've got the LOD set up to high resolution. And I'll go over how to set those up in another video and then back to Alt F4. But we wanna focus on focus. So what are the things that we need to know? Well, let's select the camera. The first thing that you wanna know is you want to be able to set up your f-stops. And the lower the number, the wider the aperture. So an f-stop of 1.2 and maximum of 2.4, we've got a really wide aperture, which is creating a shallow depth of field. All right, what else? Let's go to our next camera. We've got a different lens on this camera, as well as a different aspect ratio going on. So how do you quickly set those up? Well, the film back is where you're going to get your aspect ratio. So in this case, I've got a 2.39, which is an ultra wide. It's a typical setting for an ultra wide. And you can dial in this sensor width and height. Now, that's not really gonna affect the depth of field. It's really where the lens is gonna come in. Now, I've got a 50 millimeter on here, which is a moderately wide angle lens, which will give us a wider field of view. But um, where we will really start to see super shallow depth of field is with extremely long lenses. I've got a prime 105 millimeter and right now I've got the f-stop. It can go down all the way to two. So if we dial in two, if we select these carrots and hit F, we're gonna see everything just jumps out of focus. So what's going on here? Well, we can use the draw debug focus plane. We can turn that on if we want. And you can see it's way off in the distance. And so we could use this picker to pick objects like there's that bell pepper. If we turn that off, now everything is in focus. And you can see we're really close to these objects in terms of the way the camera is framed up. Let's pop out of the camera for just a second. And interestingly, you can see of the three cameras, this is practically the furthest away because it's got a really long lens. Um, but the further that I can push in, so the distance to subject matter really impacts your depth of field as well. So that's uh, if you ever get a real lens and you want to like push in on the subject matter to get that nice shallow depth of field. Okay, so let's pop in and let's just set up, pull some focus. So we've got the focus plane set on those carrots. Now we could go in here and let's just set some keyframes. So we'll just set the manual focus distance. We'll set a keyframe. We can see we just sort of popped out there and then we can dial in where we want that plane of focus. So let's hit F to frame up. We'll set a keyframe on location and we'll just dial in. You can see the plane of focus coming. You don't even need to turn on the visualization sometimes. There we are, we're focused on the, the bell pepper now. Okay, great. So now we could move our camera and then we can also shift our manual focus distance. So let's do that first. Focus on the onion. We could even move our camera up a little bit. All right, now when we scrub through, we've got the, we're pulling focus between the two vegetables. All right, awesome. Well, that covers pretty much what I wanted to go over, which was pulling focus and the elements that relate to changing depth of field, which happen to be the f-stop, the distance from subject, as well as the length of lens that you're using. So that'll wrap things up. We'll see you in the next video.